So this is the... Um, it's obviously uh, the Vikings own it. No, it's the Lakers. It's the Lake, Lakers airboat. No, um, no, it's Vikings. Uh, Magic Minnesota. Jordan. Is it Magic Jordan? Magic Johnson? <laughs> Magic Johnson's going to take us for a ride. This is a thirty thousand dollar four hundred and forty cubic inch uh, supercharged engine, General GM counter rotating props. I've never seen anything like this. Carbon fiber blades, aluminum block, aluminum heads. It's very impressive, isn't it, Vinny? Yeah. What, Cody? What was the the bass thing he was talking about? Okay, so this is cool. I've never seen this before. Yeah. So. He, uh, great, is it Bryson? Yeah. Bryson was, uh, he's the first guy to put these on here. They're Tim Bryson. And they um, are hydraulic poles that just stick down in the ground like anchors. You can control them independently. Look at this. this is... Yeah, here we can see it better. So these guys, these are just fiberglass rods. Yeah. And this whole thing drops down and those just poke this into thing. the sand. And then it holds it still. Yeah, and he fabricated all these brackets here himself. Yeah, this is. I was I was telling him I've been I've been on airboats in the Everglades, but they were pretty kind of homemade deals. This is serious business. Uh, this is a. I always thought this was a fabric, but this is actually a metal. This is a hard metal. Yeah. I always thought that these were like a stretched fabric, but it's not. It's actually a hard. It's all stainless steel cage. Yeah. Look at that engine. Damn. Damn. This is how it's controlled. <laughs> well, if you want something cool to do when you're in Fremont or Nebraska, this is uh, a really a great trip. So you control the throttle with the pedal, and this uh, steers it. It changes the pitch of the blades. It's got all these gauges up here. It's about 2,000 hours on an engine before uh, any major work needs to be done. Who's getting wet? Uh, We're Jack, getting wet. Jack thought, thought he could put I'm me in the water. Here. I don't have your phone. I've got clean that would be cold right on the way home. What do you think, Cody? I think I should wouldn't shouldn't fight with those boys anymore. Yeah. <laughs> they were pretty strong. <laughs> they were. They fight dirty. <laughs> How do we fight dirty? Well, you were busy with Mishka, so I jumped on your back. Well, Jack wouldn't let go of my legs, so I I just covered my his hand, his mouth with my hand, and then he let go. Uh, you put your finger in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I have a full right hole. Mishko, you're the best. So are, are you the sensible male in the group? 
Tim, who rents this, he started doing this because there was a really sick girl who wanted to get a ride on an airboat, and he offered to take her. And she had said something about, I want to get a ride before God takes me. And he overheard her and offered her a ride, and then for the following year, um, gave people rides, whoever wanted it or not, but a lot of sick people. And he continues to give free rides for charitable rides, but then also um, gives tours. And that's how he got started eight years ago.